Hi there, and welcome to my channel, Nora Loves Bend Homes. I'm Nora Spangler, a realtor here in Bend, Oregon. So if you're interested in real estate and you wanna know what's going on with the numbers, is the market going up or down? How long is it taking to sell homes in Bend? You're in the right place. I'm gonna give you all that information. We're gonna look at the August numbers. And this week, I'm doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to compare Bend and Redmond. So we're going to be going like this and like this, back and forth, looking at Bend's numbers and Redmond's numbers, which is the city just north of Bend. It's about 20-ish minutes away. Just because Bend's prices have gone up so much, I just want you to know that Bend is not the only city you can live in Central Oregon. And Redmond is a lot more affordable, as you're going to find out. So stay tuned. Here we go. Let's look at all the numbers. Okay, let's jump right in. What is Ben's median single family home price, or what was it, for the month of August? All the stats I give are just for one single month, just to make it easy to compare year to year and month over month numbers. Well, that number for Bend actually dropped. It went down to $685,000. It was at $700,000 for the last couple months. So that's a good thing. Now let's look at Redmond's number. Their median single family home price is $476,250. That is a whopping 44% less than Ben's median home price. So just so you know, Edmonds homes are still a lot less expensive, although they are going up quickly and going up even faster than our prices in Bend. Ben's median home price of 685 is down 2% over last month, but it's up 23% over a year ago. Ben's home inventory is down about 21%. Oops, sorry, that was 28% from last month, but down 41% from a year ago. If you're thinking about moving to Ben, I work with people every day that are making the move from all over the country. Go ahead and click the link below and grab a copy of my relocation guide and get in touch with me. Chat with me, I'd love to help you. And here's the reason why we're short on inventory. Our pending sales in Bend went up 34% last month. And that's 30% more than a year ago. Our sold numbers for August are down a little bit, 12%, because we just don't have homes to sell. So we're selling everything like hotcakes as it comes on the market. But if we had more inventory, I think we'd be selling those 12% and probably more. Our sold number for August is down 25% over a year ago. So 2020 was just the crazy boom year. Everybody moved here, everybody was buying a house, and now it's slowing down a little bit. The median days on market for Bend is now seven days, and that's up about 17% from last month. That's only one day difference. It was six days last month, and now it's seven. So we are moving in the right direction. The market is breathing a little bit, it's slowing down a little bit. We're not getting like 50 offers the first day, you know, a home goes on the market. Percent of original price is an interesting stat to look at. Back at the high point of the market in May of this year, that number was 103.4 for Bend. So homes were selling well above the list price. Now we're right at 100%. So homes are pretty much for the most part, selling for what they are listed for. With the caveat that I do wanna mention, I have been seeing an awful lot of price reductions. There was a home that was listed at 745, I think, and it's now at 625. I mean, come on, $125,000, you miss pricing the house by that much? Let's compare Bend and Redmond. So how many homes are there for sale Today, I looked in the MLS and Bend has 355 homes for sale. Redmond only has 121 homes for sale. These are single family homes only. So I'm not counting townhomes, manufactured homes, any of that stuff, just single family homes. 
In Bend, the number of those homes that are under $500,000 is only 14 homes. That is only 4% of our inventory right now. In Redmond, there are 41 homes under 500,000 and that's 33% of their inventory. So you can see the difference. If you're in that lowest price point for Central Oregon, it's going to be much easier for you to find a home in Redmond than in Bend. So between the five and $600,000 price points, Bend has 44 homes, which is about 12% of our total inventory. And Redmond has 14 homes, and that's about 11% of their inventory. Okay, let's look at the six to $700,000 price point. Bend has 46 homes in this category, which is about 13% of our inventory. Redmond has 20 homes between six and 700,000, and that's about 16% of their inventory. Moving up to seven to $800,000 category, Bend has 39 homes, and Redmond has 11 homes, which is 9% of their inventory. We're getting up there in the price range here, 800,000 up to a million in Bend. There are 77 homes. Redmond has 19 homes in this price range. Now we're gonna just talk about everything that's over a million. In Bend, we have 135 homes in that category of a million and over. That's a whopping 38% of our inventory. In Redmond, they have 16 homes over a million dollars, and that's 13% of their inventory. So as you can see from these numbers, Bend has a significant portion of our inventory is in the $800,000 and above category. We have very few homes under 500,000, but I do want to mention, I have a listing that's going live this week and you can find a video of that on my channel. So check it out. It's on Stanley Way and it's a wonderful family home priced at $549,000. So that's a great price point to find in Bend. So what can we say in general about Ben's real estate market? Well, my best advice to anyone that I work with is I take everybody on an individual situation and I ask my clients to look at their finances. How stable is your work? What's your income? What is the budget you need to live on? And how much home can you afford within your budget? Um, that's really the question. Interest rates are great so you can afford more home than in past years when the interest rates were five or six percent you can afford the more expensive home in our more expensive market right now maybe but it's a question only you can answer for yourself should i buy a home right now is it right for me to buy a home now should i wait um, i think that question is more about circumstances and can you afford it? Does it work for you right now? Is it a good decision for you right now? If not, then wait. That's up to you. So ask yourself all those questions. Talk to a lender. I can refer you to a lot of great lenders that I've worked with and they help my clients figure out the answers to all those questions. So I hope you enjoyed all those numbers and I will see you again next week.